our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Lee, I'm going to get married next month. Good news and congratulations. You are invited to my wedding. Thank you. I'll certainly be there. Hi Joe, you met my new assistant, right? EMM yes, but I wasn't too impressed. I found her a little stuck up. You are kidding, but she's so helpful. Tom you are her boss, you cone. Of course, she's helpful to you. Come on, she's like that with everyone. I don't think so actually. She never even says, hello, to me. Hi, my name's Carl. My wife and I are moving in next door. Hello, Carl. I'm Chuck Jones. We're going to be neighbors. I'm happy to meet you. It seems everyone in town is so friendly. This is a small town, and we like to be neighborly. We know everyone who lives around here. Well, I'm from Chicago. There few people take the time to get to know their neighbors. So, tell me, Carl, why did you come all the way to Minnesota to live? We wanted to live in a more peaceful community and have more space. Another reason is, we can afford to buy a home here, but we can't in Chicago. Have you got any hobbies? Yes, I'm fond of playing the chess and I'm very keen on playing cards. Which is easier to learn? Both, but the rules of playing cards vary in different places. Frank, I want your advice on something. Some scientists I met at the conference 6 this afternoon have invited me to a party. Actually, they called it an informal get-together. And what's the problem? When I asked how people were going to dress, Dr. Light said it was casual. And you want to know what to wear? Well, last night I went out with some journalists for a casual party, but I was overdressed. I wore what I consider casual an outfit of skirt, blouse, scarf, and medium heels you know. That sounds just right to me. What was wrong with it? Everyone else there was wearing blue jeans. Several of the women had on running shoes. I felt out of place. So I have no idea what to wear tonight. My guess is you can safely wear last night's outfit to tonight's party. May I invite you for a dance? With pleasure. You dance well. Do you break dance? Me. What brought that on? There's a story about break dancing in the paper. What does it say? According to the story, it's some sort of modern dance style. Like disco? Well, Breakdancing is more a physical exercise than a dance. And disco a kind of nightclub. Right. A disco is a place where people dance according to non-stop recorded music. So disco is what the music is called and a disco is a place where people go to dance to it. And breakdancing is a different sort of thing altogether. You are witty. Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.